according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse, cocaine is a Schedule II drug, which means that it has high potential for abuse but can be administered by a doctor for legitimate medical uses. As a street drug, cocaine appears as a fine white crystalline powder and is also known as coke, snow, powder, or bluff. When a person snorts, smokes, or injects cocaine, it travels to the brain via the bloodstream. Although it reaches all areas of the brain, its euphoric effects are mediated in a few specific areas. Hey man, what's going on? What's up man? The party's still good out there? It's not too bad, but I mean, we're kinda out of beer, so... Out of beer? Well, uh, you wanna keep it going? I got a little, little cocaine. I don't know man, I have heard great things about that stuff. Uh, come on, you're not scared, are you? Come on, just try it out, one time. Alright man, just this one time. Alright, cool, cool. Do you have any blow left by chance? No, man, I don't. I'm not really into that. But uh, I've got some beer in the cooler if you want it. Oh, no, no, man. That's all right. That's all right. I sure? Yeah, I appreciate it, though. All right. I appreciate it. Hey, man, do you have any blow right. left by chance? Uh, I got a little bit. You do? Come on. Come on. Sweet, dude. You're a lifesaver. Like, right. you, have, you don't even have any idea, dude. No. Thank you so much. Thank, right is, this, is this yours right this here? This is all you, man. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Buddy, you ready for the concert tonight? Yeah, I guess. I, I, I don't know how I'm going to get through this concert tonight without any blow, though. Oh, come on. We can drink. No, seriously. I'll, I'll be dead halfway through the set if I don't get any blow. Man, we've got a lot of alcohol over in the cooler. You can just drink out of that. Yeah. I, I don't want that, man. I, mm -mm, I don't want it. Yo, he's kind of been acting different lately. Yeah, he can't go out without doing coke. I know, I keep telling him to drink with us, but he just, he won't do it. I think it's becoming a, I think it's become a real problem. We, need, we should probably say something, I think. Yeah, you should give him some help. He's, he's looking a little skinnier, too. Yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. I heard weight loss is um, a side effect of too much cocaine. Hey guys, what's going on? What's up, what's up? Listen, you wouldn't happen to... Um, uh, I'm gonna stop you right there, actually. I think I know where you're going with this. Um, kind of notice your problem, your addiction's gonna get out of hand, and, um, you know, if you looked at me, I put my idea, I put the coke down. I, um, want a better path, and I think, uh, we should do the same with you. We've noticed you've been having some family problems, some school problems, so we're gonna text you the name of this organization, and we're gonna give you their number, and we think you should call them. You think you'll do that? I mean, it really hasn't been that much of a problem, um, I don't think so, at least, but, I mean, if, it, if it'll make you guys feel better, then... Yeah, I can, I can take a look at it. Perfect. Sweet. Thanks. So you may be asking yourself, how does this apply to me? Why does this matter? This matters because cocaine can cause brain damage, even if only used a few times. This is why it's important for you to say no if you were ever offered it. Addiction occurs when repeated usage of a drug causes damage to brain structures. After you stop using cocaine, a crash will follow soon after. This is accompanied by a strong urge for you to do more, co more cocaine along with symptoms including fatigue, lack of pleasure, anxiety, irritability, sleepiness, and paranoia. So you may already be aware that cocaine can be a big problem on college campuses. Uh, cocaine use has actually been recorded as being highest among college students. Findings have also indicated that one in eight college students have used cocaine during their four years of college. Studies have shown that at your freshman year, an average of 4% of students are using cocaine, and it rises to 10% by senior year. Young adults tend to underestimate the addictive power of cocaine and believe that just a line or two here and there won't make a big difference and won't be a problem in their lives.